Hello and welcome back to Ebsworth Street. So as you saw in the last video, Gordon's Lane has now had its first little setup as an oval. It run pretty well. I'm really happy um, with the progress. And I just want to say a huge thank you for everybody that sent um, through various social media platforms um, how much they're enjoying it. So we all know you can have a fantastic layout but it's what is done underneath that actually makes the layout what it is. So because I've worked um, as an ST engineer and I've worked as a signalman, uh, I've worked on the railway for nearly 12 years now, uh, doing various different roles. Um, what I'm gonna be showing you about this episode is the control panels. So a couple of episodes ago, you actually saw the panel uh, that Gordon's Lane, what, was, what it was gonna look like. Uh, I've, had it a little bit developed since then um, and I've got some software and some interesting bits that I've got underneath the baseboards uh, which I'm going to talk to you about and see and show you and how it works and how it develops um, and how it makes it easier um, to have that color light aspect signal in track circuiting and so forth so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the panel set up um, and show you underneath the baseboards, show you a bit of wiring and how it's all done. So you can get an idea of what I'm trying to achieve and how I'm going to achieve it. So, and then fingers crossed, hopefully I should be able to get some of the panels up and working, be able to show you what the route setting is gonna be like, and then just go from there. So let me spin you around and I'll go through some of the baseboards. Right, so what we have here is board number three. Um, this is actually all the um, modules or some of the modules that we've got on here. So what we'll do is we'll start with this one. So this one is, there's your standard point motors and there is your point control module, which is your PCM. So this is a very similar version as a um, capacitor discharge unit. So because I'm using an NX panel, when you slip from one route to the other, all the points will move at the same time. Now, if I had a normal standard um, capacitor discharge unit on the layout, what would then happen was some of the points won't be able to move. So this goes with number four, this one goes with number three, number two, which goes to there, and then number one, which goes to there. So they would all link together and obviously you've got your two tag strips at each end. Now, these here are the ACM, which is the aspect control modules. So what these do, um, and this is your ATP. So what these do, um, these actually talk to the point control modules. These talk to the track circuiting and these also talk to the signals. So what these do, so as you can see there, so that's point one. So that talks to that, which gives information to there, which then that then talks to point number two because they're the same ends. And then they then talk to the signal. And then the signal then will talk to the next signal in the rear. So it says, right, point one and point two are normal. Allow the aspect for this signal here which is going to be in this hole here, which will be on the top, um, that will then tell it to show a proceed aspect or a red danger aspect, because if the points are reverse, you can't then get a signal. So that's a rough base idea of what is actually going to be going on. Um, what I would do now is if I mm. pan you down, you can actually see that is that baseboard. So that's on its side. Um, so that's what that's going to be doing. Um, so I've got some wiring up to do here. Uh, I've got some point motors to, to fit in uh, and wire up. So that's what I'm going to be doing just now. Try and get all that wired in. Um, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to grab the panel out uh, and show you what the panel looks like once it's now finally been built. So I've been wiring up uh, most of Gordon's Lane today. Um, all the modules are now in place. I've 
buzz tested it all the way through so as you can see here there's four main scene exception boards and then over here i've got the two end of scene sections there and there and then those are the two foot yard boards um which go into the foot yard which you can just see there and then obviously that's the the bridge board as you can see so i've got my trusty meter out so what I'm going to be doing now is just do some bus TED in between there and there to make sure everything's correct and obviously going through all the modules um, and because they're almost mirror images they should all be exactly the same. Um, I buzz tested those so they're all correct. I've got the old soldering iron on just in case I need to add any wires or take any wires off. But fingers crossed, hopefully, I should be able to get all this done um, because it's actually going to be going to a show, which is uh, come up quite quickly and I'll announce. So fingers crossed, hopefully, um, it will be all up and working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on um, and then later on, um, hopefully, I'll be able to show you this panel and talk you through how and what it does so as you can see the view has changed again uh, i'm actually in the van on the way down to the breaker and wordsworth light railway for their special model rail day um, you may have seen um, some posts on social media that gordon's lane is actually going to be going down um, it's due to obviously um, the nhs track and trace have actually caught a couple of ex ex exhibitors and some of them don't feel comfortable going which is totally uh, their decision um, so to try and fill the show and to make it look um, presentable to make sure we've got enough staff um, I've decided to bring Gordon's Lane a um, bit ambitious really because obviously considering it wasn't actually made until um, quite recently and I've only started in March. Um, scenery is not completely finished, um, which obviously I didn't think it would be, um, but I can run trains, that's the main thing. Um, I'll have somebody there, uh, quite a few members of my uh, Modern Railway Club and friends and other YouTubers. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to get some photos, get some videos um, and show you what actually you can achieve on Gordon's Lane. Um, quite looking forward to it. Still got quite a fair bit to do um, when we get there to set up. Um, got all the stock to put out. Um, got a couple of low coaster chip and then program. So what I would do is let's get down to Bregger. I'll show you what's actually um, what it's like there so far and then I'll show you the room when it's actually filled. So I'll catch you down at Bregger uh, in a moment. So we're here. Uh, well, I'm here, you can see the van over there um, and this is what the show is so far that's been set up so as you can see here we've got a bookstall you can see Gordon's Lane there obviously quite a few empty chairs and tables we've got Invicta Model Rail which is obviously who they're um, supporting um, so they've got loads of little goodies over there um, you've got room over there so we've got here we've got Staple and Ash which is the East Kent um, which obviously they're just in the process of setting up. Uh, we've got another layout, which is see the court, which is what you may have seen me working on. Um, and then we've got another room down here. So there's loads of lots of different railway memorabilia. Uh, a good old red telephone box. Um, so we've got another little layout there from the Ogays Guild. Um, fantastic. The smell and the atmosphere is uh, amazing. And you can see there's a great big LGB, which is here, which they're in the, just in the process of cleaning to make sure it's all working. Um, so yeah, there's quite a fair bit to do. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on building and putting the old uh, stock onto Gordon's Lane and you'll be able to see some more of the buildings that I've placed in on the layout. Um, yeah, so it, it's now it actually looks quite small compared to uh, when it was in my club room, but and you've got some row engines outside, which I will just take you to show you. you have a little sneak peek of uh, all the little railways. And you've got um, this huge, yeah, so there's quite a fair bit. Cut the diesels, I cut the engines. So I'm going to go back inside, start unloading, get things up and running. Fingers crossed. I'll be able to show you some more videos once we're all up and running. So I'll see you in a moment. So we're set up. Um, there's quite a few now that's arrived into it. As you can see back there, you can just see Gordon's Lane the yard is all now set up. Most of the hall is quite busy. Things are starting to fill up now. Um, so what I'll try and do is get some more running shots um, or things actually running. Um, and as you can probably see just there, there's a 450 coming around. So I've come outside now uh, to show you some of the exhibits, what they've got outside. As you can see there, uh, there's a US uh, fire truck actually climb up there today. Uh, and obviously just down there, as you can see all the throw down there, they've got various different attractions, little steam engines, tractors. Uh, and over there, they've got a, a flower that's actually where they all cut all the wood for the uh, trains. Uh, so you've got the car park here, everybody's queuing in. Got a lovely traction engine over there. So what I'll do now is I'll take around the exhibition and you'll have to see what has uh, come today uh, and what layouts there are.
number of uh, trains running various different um, exhibitions. Uh, it's been a really good day, so uh, I'm going to cut to a little bit more some filming now, uh, so you can enjoy some of the layouts, uh, especially Baldwin's Lane, because uh, it's um, had its little niggles and little problems, but we managed to get through it.
So here we have one of the fully yard panels. So if you push eight to four, the root light's set up and obviously all the points then change. So we'll do the same here with three to seven. And as you can see here, here comes the train that goes through. Um, and then obviously once you're finished, what you can do then is you push the button to cancel the root and repress it eight to five. And then there you go, you can just see all the points then move into correct indication and then the root light set. As you can see here, the you know it looks like it's flashing, but that's mainly because obviously I'm using a camera um, to view it. Um, this is what they class as an X type panel. So obviously in a real railway, the, as the train goes through, it then cancels the route. Um, and as you can see there, just the earlier on, just cancelled three to seven, seven route. There goes the train. And that is one end of the fiddle yard. Um, so what you can do then is get ready to reset another one. So there you go. So I've set one to seven. So now the points are set for another train to come out of one. So that is one end of the fiddle yard. And the other end of the fiddle yard is exactly the same. So you've still got the same root light. So wherever the root light is uh, a light, so it's like from seven all the way through to one, um, that puts obviously all the points into the correct position and here comes the train now 
Um, so you can do multi route so you can go right across the panel. So it goes from 7 to 6, 1 to 8. There we go. Um, and then obviously you cancel it via the route extinguish on the button. So these work very cleverly. And there we go, there's a logo coming around now. So it gives you quite quick access to all the fiddly yards and each end. So yeah, I'm pretty happy how it's all turned out. Um, now what I'm gonna do, oh, here comes another train. So this is the option that you've got. It means you've got full access to all the all six lines of the fiddle yard on each side. Um, just makes life easier if you want to run double trains or swap the trains over on whichever panel. And there it comes back out the other end. So I'll cut to uh, a couple of more videos of uh, Gordon's Lane. Just want to say a huge thank you again. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.